turn to page 21 and we will walk through the steps to do a movie script. What tools will you need for the movie script? Look behind me. Notice I have up on this wall what I call a vocabulary wall. This wall is easy for you to make. All you need are strips of paper, label them adjectives, nouns, and verbs. On the vocabulary wall are robust vocabulary words. These words have been pulled from your language arts unit. Each time you have a story that you're working on, you always need to teach children some vocabulary words. These should be powerful adjectives, nouns, and verbs that children can use later in their own writing. We don't want those words to disappear, so after they've mastered them and when you're finished with the story, you label the parts of speech on the vocabulary words and then you post them up on a vocab wall for them to retrieve for their own writing. That still is a difficult thing to do, so the movie script will show children how to pull vocabulary words from the wall into their stories. When writing the movie scripts, you need the vocabulary wall so that children can practice not only how to put more sophisticated words in their writing, but also that they are precise and they fit the writing. In addition to the vocabulary wall, I have a teacher-sized chart of a movie script. This is already completed. Notice I have the top three boxes with pictures, and then down below I have simple icons and keywords. You will learn how this works. You can make a large chart like this, laminate it, and every time you're working with the children to make a movie script, you can write on the chart. You don't need to have a large chart. You could have a copy of the movie script, and you could put this under your document viewer, and as you fill it out, the students would have a copy as well that they would fill out. This black line master will be found in your manual at the end of the movie script activity. You will find pictures of different types of movie script at the end of this section as well. Here's an example of three pictures that you could have children glue on their own movie scripts. You could give children black line masters of the movie script for them to fill in, or you could staple together many movie scripts where on the left side they will plan out their movie script and then on the right side they will actually write it out. These can either be blank or they can glue in pictures on the top if they still need starter pictures from you. I know I'm showing you black line masters of movie scripts that you could Xerox off, put together in booklets for students, or just give them copies of for lessons, but let me show you an even better thing that you could do. You can take a blank piece of paper, fold it in half, and then try fold it. When you open it up, you will have a format for the movie scripts. The children can then draw lines so that they have a beginning, middle, end box to draw pictures in the top. And then on the bottom of this chart, they have the three boxes where they plan sentences to match their movie script pictures from the top. This, I would suggest that you ultimately have students do when they're writing their own movie scripts. On page 21, notice it says movie scripts actions. That means that this is going to be a three sentence movie. Yes, three sentences. That's because we're focusing on making powerful sentences, embedding vocabulary that connect. So, when we're making a movie script here, it's going to be a simple happening with a focus on those skills. On the movie script, what you will find is there's a beginning, middle, and end box. And there's two movie scripts. The top one has pictures already in it. Please notice I have vocabulary words in each one of these boxes. We don't want to have those vocabulary words when we first give this sheet to the students. You will see why in a moment. You will just have the three pictures. So this is something you need to do ahead of time. You need to have three pictures that have a setting, a character, and have a simple happening. The bottom boxes don't have pictures, but what they have are secret formulas. S, C, arrow in the beginning box. The S is for setting. And setting is going to tell us time and place. The C is for character. That is going to be who is doing the action. If there's two characters, you're looking at the picture and seeing who's doing the action. 
The arrow in that beginning box is action. What did that character do in that first box? And notice I said, what did the character do? That's because you want the verbs, the action that begins the predicate of this sentence, to be in the past tense because stories are told in the past tense. The middle and the end box, those have the secret formula T, C arrow. The T is for transition. Those are special words that alert the reader how you are going to get from one action to the next action, that something has changed. So they're special words that move us from one action to the next action. And those words may tell us that the location has changed, the time has changed, maybe it's an emotion feeling word, maybe it's going to be telling us a sound effect. So there's many different types of transitions that get us from one action to the next action. These are our secret formulas. Setting character action for the beginning. Transition character action for the middle. Transition character action for the end. What students will be doing is they will be looking at the top box and they will take this picture and they will translate that picture into a sentence. That's why we have the secret formulas. S-C arrow, T-C arrow, T-C arrow are secret formulas to write these powerful sentences. Let's start our lesson. The children have a movie script and so do you. Now you need to tell them why they're doing this activity. We always start by giving a purpose. So I tell the children, boys and girls, look at your movie script. You have a top section with three pictures and then a bottom section. Put your hands together like this and say, from Hollywood, it's movie script time. And every movie has a beginning, middle, end. And what are we going to learn when we write movie scripts? How to write a great story opening and then how to write actions, actions, so that we have powerful sentences in a beginning, middle, end of a movie. And when we become great movie script writers, what will we be able to do? Write our own stories with powerful sentences. So what are we writing? A movie script from Hollywood with a beginning, middle, end. And in the beginning needs to be a story opening. And in the middle is a powerful action. And in the end is a powerful action. And how are we going to do that? With secret formulas. Let's start our lesson so that we can learn about all the parts of a movie so that we can be great story writers. Please turn to page 22. Not only will I show you on page 22 and 23 step by step what you need to do in order to fill in this movie script and create these powerful sentences, but I've also broken it up into a five-day schedule. That way, for 10 minutes a day, you can model to the students, and then the students with you, after you've modeled one movie script, can filling in their own so they can eventually become independent in this activity. So let's look at each day what we do in order to fill in a movie script. Day one. First thing we're going to do in the first day is I'm going to have the students go through and just say what the pictures are. The vocabulary is not in these boxes at this point, just the pictures. So we're going to go to the first box and I'm just going to say to the children, what do we see here? Oh, we see a dog and he's in his house, it's nighttime and he notices his tail. Let's go to the middle picture. Oh look, he's chasing his tail around and around in a circle. Let's go to the last box, the end box. He now got dizzy from chasing his tail and he fell to the ground. So we just talk about what we see. We're not trying to make sentences. We're just trying to make the meaning, understand what those pictures mean. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our vocab wall and try to take previously learned vocabulary words from, from language arts that we've posted on our vocab wall. Here we have our vocabulary wall on your page with the adjective, nouns, verbs. Even though you may have a vocabulary wall posted in your room, many children still have a difficult time taking those words 
and inserting them into their own writing. So this part of the movie script is giving them practice of how to take robust vocabulary words they know and insert it into their writing. First thing we're going to do is we're going to identify in a picture any nouns that we see. So we're going to say, oh, we have the dog, we have the house, we have nighttime. What in this picture is the most important thing? Because I don't want to add vocabulary words to just anything, I need to look for the most important part of the sentence. So you always start with the noun. The noun is going to get you to those living things, the place, the idea, what is important in the sentence. We start with the noun. Then we're going to look at do we need to describe the noun or do we need to give action to it? So we really are trying to put in mostly adjectives and verbs. How do we do that? We have to find the noun. So we're going to look at, in this picture, which one of these nouns, nighttime, the house, or the dog, which one's the most important? Oh, I think that the dog is the most important. Okay, so let's look at the dog. Do we want to describe something on the dog or do we want to look at an action that the dog is doing? So we decided in this case that we wanted an action. So we went up to the verbs and we said, are there any verbs on our vocabulary wall that give us an action that will tell us what's happening in this box? So we looked at our verbs and we see, hmm, the dog ignored his tail? No, he didn't do that. Depended on his tail? No. Oh, let's see. The dog was attracted to his tail, startled by his tail. 